So you're probably thinking this is an odd start to a Velocity PT video, but we're branching out and trying new things. So this is the 1,000 calorie a day challenge for 10 days. Um, ben, Graham and uh, Brandon in the office have challenged me to do uh, 1,000 calories a day for 10 days and document it. We're going to uh, track all, some body composition stuff, uh, see if I can manage it and we're going to vlog as much of it as I can and we're going to make it into a nice video uh, and just see how I get on really. So we're in my kitchen, it's Sunday the 15th of September, the day before I'm about to start it so I'm starting it tomorrow on Monday and I've just been to Lidl and I've stocked up on some supplies. Um, this is actually the food for the full 10 days and there isn't a lot here really so breaking it down a thousand calories a day it's not a lot, it's not an amount of calories that anyone should really be eating um, but it's a bit of a challenge, it's for 10 days, it's going to be monitored and uh, we're going to see what we can do. So I'm just going to stop the video here and I'm going to show you what food I've actually bought for the, the 10 days. So here is all the food I've chosen. So it isn't a lot of food for 10 days if you look at it and break it down. Um, you can see here that I've chosen uh, some simple foods. Um, it's going to be very, very samey, and that's just purely so that I stay within those thousand calories. I mean, I've put it all into my fitness pal, which we will throw up on the screen at some point, and just showing that I am eating just under a uh, thousand calories. It will not go over. Um, so breaking it down briefly, we've got some five percent lean beef steak mints. Uh, we've got some chicken breasts, some veg. We've got some broccoli and some some sugar snap. Sorry, some potatoes, and for the morning we've got some oats. The tomato passata is going to go in the uh, in the mints to make a kind of almost bolognese and then just some herbs and spices and some fry lights or so to cook everything in really. And that's it. So it's going to be three, ma th three, meals, three meals and it's going to be broken down uh, over the day. So I'm going to try and just do a morning, lunch and then evening meal uh, with nothing in between. My plan is to drink plenty of water throughout the day and uh, just see how we get on. But yeah, that's all the food that I'll be eating for the full 10 days. So that's a challenge. 1,000 calories a day for 10 days. That's all the food. Uh, now I'm gonna cook it all up, but first I'm gonna head out for the day and then I'll recap you with you this afternoon uh, and I'll show you uh, me cooking it, basically portioning it all up. I'm probably not gonna cook it all now because obviously we want it to stay fresh and I'm not a massive fan of freezing all my meals. So I'll probably cook half now and then half um, you know, as, as we kind of get on through the, the 10 days. Um, so roll the cooking clip. Okay guys, so we've just finished meal prepping. I've done enough food for three days. I'm hoping there's none left over. If there is, I'm sure someone else in the family will eat it, but let's check out what I've made for the next three days. So first thing I've made is some lean mints. So the lean mints we showed, uh, looked at earlier, sorry. Uh, and this is made with the passata. It's just to make it basically not dry. Uh, throwing some spices in there, uh, just to make it a bit more interesting. Next, our carb sauce, we've got some nice uh, new potatoes, or baby potatoes. Um, I've boiled these, let them cool, and then I'm actually throwing them in a, in a hot pan. A bit of paprika, salt, garlic, and uh, some parsley on there as well. Again, a bit more interesting. Next is our second protein sauce, which is the uh, chicken breast. I butterfly this, just pan fried it, and again, I've thrown some barbecue rub on there. Uh, a little bit more salt, a little bit more garlic. And then finally, a little bit of greens. They look nice and colourful. Just move out the way. There we go. Uh, and this is just our veg sauce. So that's pretty much it. So those are the, the three components. And now I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to uh, box them up and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, guys. So that is the meals all sorted out and boxed up. Um, you may notice um, that there is only veg in... Four of the five, sorry, four of the six meals. I'm not 
jar of the box is going to be with the mint so I've only put it with one of the meals uh, if it works then when I do uh, my next batch of cooking then I will uh, obviously include it in there I have got quite a little bit of chicken left over and a load of mints as well so I'll probably either give that to another family member or contradict myself and I'll freeze it uh, but that's it in terms of uh, the meals prepped up so I'm going to uh, box them up now and pop them in the fridge so just out of interest um, and if you're interested as well how much did it cost me so just going to quickly I mean it's not a massive calculation as you can imagine so for all that food don't know if you'll be able to see that that's 33 pounds and 59 pence uh, so that's food obviously for 10 days um, it's obviously not enough food for most people or for anyone a thousand calories isn't enough but just to kind of give you an idea there'll probably be a little bit left over as well, from that as well especially the mints um, I didn't realize the packets are actually kilos not 750 grams as what I normally buy they have a, a new package in at Lidl which I didn't say because I'm not very observant obviously but yeah £33.59 if anyone's interested um, they're all packed up done and that's a prep done now for the start tomorrow and that's pretty much it so I'll wake up in the morning and I'll get my weight on the scales first thing and then I'm uh, so when I'm in the office I will probably get some body composition stuff so I'll probably do some, some like measurements stuff like that uh, and that'll kind of be my start point and then we'll do that again in, uh, in at the end of the 10 days on day 11 bit of a twist to the old a thousand calories a day for 10 days but we'll we'll get to that in 10 days see you then Good morning everyone, it's Monday the 16th of September and today is the start of my 1000 calorie challenge over a 10 day period. So, saw earlier on in the video that I prepped all my meals, did all my shopping yesterday, worked out all my calories, exactly what I'll be eating, so I'm going to be stick to those same three meals every day. Um, I got my weight this morning as well, I didn't video it, I'll get a picture because it was early and the, everyone else in the house is asleep. And my starting weight is 13 stone 11 pounds. So put your bets in now with uh, the amount of weight I lose over these 10 days. Um, we have all got a bit of a guess on in the office, which we're gonna catch up with later and see what the, uh, the lads in the office think I'm gonna uh, get to in terms of my weight. When we get in the office, I'm gonna show you my three meals just to kind of have a bit of a, a catch up with uh, everyone's guesses. And um, we'll just kind of take it from there really. I'll keep everyone updated with how I'm feeling. I'm still gonna train as normal, so that's not gonna change at all. So I'm gonna keep everything as similar as I can and uh, yeah we'll just see what happens so I just finished doing my measurements you saw very quickly in that clip there just a quick video um so i've just done measurements on five different places so i've just done three points around my waist i've done my chest and my my thigh as well um so they're trapped now it's obviously uh done so i'll just do them again at the end of the 10 days and see if there's any differences there obviously i've got my weight there as well and that's obviously something else that i'll be uh we'll be monitoring probably do that as I said earlier, at the um, beginning, which I've done, midpoint, and then at the end as well. And that's it for the measurements, really. Um, just wanted to quickly go over the My Fitness Pal, because that's what I'm using to track uh, my calories and all that kind of thing. Um, so I've got it here in front of me. I'll get Brandon to throw it up on the screen at some point. Uh, but basically, breakfast is my oats, that's 208 calories. And then for my lunch, that's where I'm gonna have my, uh, gonna be having my chicken, which I've had today. Um, and then some broccoli, some potatoes. Uh, afternoon, so my third meal in the evening is the, the beef steak mints uh, with the, the passata and the potatoes again. Uh, some of those have got greens in, some haven't, but I've accounted for that with calories. Uh, I've also managed to smash in a, a coffee there with a little bit of semi-skim milk as well. So that puts me at 994 calories uh, for each day, so I'm actually six calories under. Um, I have incorporated um, this oil that I've cooked all the food in it as well. I haven't incorporated sauce because I haven't had any. Um, if I do fancy um, any kind of throughout the, the week, 10 days, I can just throw that in there because um, I've got the calories, but it will only be a little bit and it will be tracked. Um, but that's pretty much the, the, the calories for the, the 10 days. Cool. Morning everybody, it's Monday, no it's not, it's Tuesday, the 17th of September, I'm on day two of the old 1000 calories a day for 10 days challenge, I'm feeling pretty good today, I'm just in Lincoln, I've just finished up with a learner, it's just gone 
and I've just uh, got myself, I don't know if you can see, a bit of a cheeky Starbucks. Now, the only reason I've done that is because I've got to uh, finish up a bit of paperwork and then head back to the office. So I'm not going to be back in the office till gone 12 o'clock. And I'm not eating anything yet today because I've been traveling all morning with a, uh, with a learner. So I've got myself some uh, some oats, the, the five grain oats that they do. Uh, a little bit more calories than what I usually have in my pot of oats in the morning. But it's one of those things just making it work. And I've got myself a regular Americano. So... All of these together, uh, it's about 350, 360 calories. So a little bit more than what I'd be at at this point, but I'm just going to make those adjustments later on in the day with my meals. Uh, just cut out a little bit of chicken, cut out a little bit of potatoes, whatever uh, it works best. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at. It's Tuesday, feeling okay. Uh, so I'm going to eat this and I'm going to get back to the office. Just got back to the office now. It's now quarter to five, uh, a little bit later on from when I spoke to you earlier when I was at Starbucks at uh, lunchtime just before lunch. Not got much filming done today just because we've all been really, really busy in the office today so not managed to get anything filmed. But as I said, I'm not going to film every second every, uh, of every day uh, just because it's kind of content, how I'm feeling and, and how the day is going, that kind of thing. Probably won't get any filming done tomorrow either because I've got a busy day and uh, not all of us are in the office either. Then on Thursday we'll definitely get some content filmed. I'm um, just going to kind of get filming of the guys and kind of what they predict my weight loss is going to be. Up to now, I'm feeling pretty good. Not feeling lethargic or anything like that. Feeling pretty uh, energetic, sorry. I've got one more meal left for today, which is going to be a lower amount because of my Starbucks earlier on today. Making sure I'm drinking plenty of water, which is a key thing to help me feeling full and hydrated. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'll probably catch up with you in a couple of days' time on Thursday. Morning, guys. It is Friday, the 20th of September. Not videoed for a couple of days, just been really busy teaching. Everyone in the office has been teaching. It is about 20 past, no, 22, seven in the morning. I'm just about to start with a client. Just kind of wanted to update, things are going okay. I'm not feeling too bad. I'm not feeling that, you know, not that low in energy. Just feeling a little bit lethargic. Um, so I'm just kind of going with it and uh, just keep eating my meals, just keeping consistent, drinking plenty of water. Um, I've not managed to get the guys predictions as of yet, just been that busy and I'm actually on annual leave today so I'll probably catch up with you on Sunday when I'm back in teaching. Right everybody, so I've been slack as in recording content for this for the past kind of like five days. Uh, the beginning did loads of content which you've obviously just watched. Last five days have been really bad, I've just been that busy, I've been in Birmingham, I've been in Stockton working over the weekend, a bodybuilding show, which Brandon will probably put a clip of now. Um, and then I've just been that busy, and obviously my calories have been that low, uh, my focus and my attention has just been crap. So apologies for that in advance. I did actually finish the, the, 10, uh, sorry, the 1,000 calories for 10 days yesterday. It is the 26th of September now, so I did my final weigh-in this morning. Again, didn't manage to get a, a clip of that because I was up at half five this morning traveling to Birmingham uh, today. So uh, I did get my weight, a little bit of a drum roll, uh, and my total loss is 11 pounds, uh, just over. Uh, I was uh, 12 stone, 13 and three quarters on the scale, so it's just over 11 pounds uh, in 10 days. So it's just over a pound, uh, pound a day. Uh, I kind of what I expected, we all had, had guesses, which uh, I said I'd film, but I didn't. Um, Brandon guessed £18, uh, Graham guessed £10, um, was it Graham guessed? I think Graham guessed £14, Ben guessed £10, uh, and I had an inkling it would be £10, £11 as well, so about a pound a day, uh, roughly. It's not surprising really, if you kind of think about that my, my maintenance calories, calories sorry, around 2,400 a day. I obviously like a, in a 14, 1500 calorie deficit every day. Add that up over the 10 days, it's a huge deficit to be in. Uh, obviously all of that's not fat, you could probably account at least half of that to kind of just volume of food and water weight. Um, I would not recommend it, plain and simple. Uh, I felt like crap. Uh, yesterday, especially like nine, t day nine and ten, just really, really lethargic. Um, found myself being tired like all the time. I uh, was drinking like three, four cups of coffee a day, which usually I drink one, maybe two. So it's not something I would recommend. Definitely not something that's sustainable, and it's definitely not something I would do again. But it was interesting to see how I kind of got on with it. Um, 
I did do some measurements as well earlier on um, and I've lost around an inch and a half from all around my waist um, and my legs stay the same, chest was half an inch I think uh, but no, nothing too dramatic, it was just more the actual uh, weight that was lost which was, which was exceptional wouldn't recommend it as a diet to anybody because it's, yeah I just wouldn't, it's just not enjoyable at all the brain needs like 600 calories just to function alone a day so that's obviously an average so you know I'm only in a surplus of that for 400 calories so yeah don't, don't do it, don't try it uh, so there's actually a little bit of a spin and a twist to this challenge so there is going to be a part two um, to this video I'm going to end this here as part one uh, I've just been doing some stuff in the kitchen which will lead to uh, part two which I'm going to be doing on Friday the 27th of September uh, tomorrow which is going to be uh, almost like a little bit of a twist to the story if you like so um, you will catch me in part two and uh, you can uh, see what it's all about and what I've been doing in the kitchen. Thanks for watching.